This is an IBM Lenovo X60. If you've got an X61, what you're about to see is pretty much the same. <coughs> uh, IBM Lenovo X60, it's a tablet computer, but it's more than a tablet, it's also a laptop, so it all it comes with full function keyboard, track point, um, and everything that you would expect from a laptop, except it doesn't have uh, a DVD writer in it. They take, remove that to save space. Turn the screen around here. The screen locks down. It becomes a tablet. I'm going to turn it on, and I want you to pay attention to how long it takes from from the time the splash screen goes away until it actually boots up. And, uh, we're talking about, what, maybe eight seconds, I think. There we go. And it's ready to log on. That's how long it took to boot up. So to log on, we do our little flick. Well, we do a flick here. Just touch here. Brings up the keyboard. Let's see. The logon password. I think that's it. It brings up the Windows Metro interface, which is uh, kind of cool. Apps are a little different. The Metro is their light, their new interface. It's similar to their tel their cell phone, and it has. Uh, some apps like a weather app has a whole bunch of apps that are specifically for the metro. All their tablets and their cell phones are going to have this type of interface and also uh, probably their laptop computers too. Okay. But if you like the old style interface you can you can click right here and get it and that gives you this interface. It's not <coughs> completely 100% Windows 7 but it's pretty close. Um, I've, as you can see, I've got uh, OneNote, I've got Office, uh, let's run OneNote. Got Microsoft Office on here, and uh, OneNote's a kind of a neat application because it's basically a tablet application. So, anyway, that's one note. And it's got your standard office applications on here. Let's see, I've got some documents in here. Here's a newsletter. Nice. It's a fairly complex newsletter, actually. I've shown this to a couple people. They didn't know you could do this with Word. It's basically a, a real fancy Word document. Okay? Now, I've got a thing on here that allows me to turn off the Metro interface. And if I turn that off and then I log off, log back in again, the Metro interface will go away. And I have your standard Windows 7 interface. Okay. Once again, just tap here, bring up the keyboard. Now what I do is I create forms. So I have a sample form application on here. position. There we go. Okay, that's a form, and I'm going to have to turn this around a little bit so I can write my name. This is a dental claim form, and up at the top here you have the put in, place to put in the name of your insurance company. So I'm going to write in H-U-M-A-N-A, -A, Humana. Now I've got a little button here I can push that says recognize. And it comes in and it says carrier name Humana. And then I've got the address and we'll put in one, two, three, street. Same thing. Uh, 
thing, and it's going to say one, two, three. So it, I, it didn't put the S in, but sometimes you have to write a little bit more legibly. Okay, well that's the laptop. Of course, you can rotate the screen. You know, you got buttons to do that. So you can rotate the screen to a, to something normal so that you can use it as a standard uh, laptop computer if you want to. Battery holds a good charge. I've uh, tested it to at least two hours to, uh, in, of operational use. And much, much longer if you run it during the day on standby. I've actually run it, taken it with me and used it most of the day.